What's up guys, this is Ultima Eye Device Vids, and today in this video we're going to be doing a massive speed test comparison comparing iOS 15 Beta 1 to iOS 14.6 on all iPhone generations. And just as I said in my previous iOS 15 Beta 1 battery test video, the results of this video only apply to the very first beta of iOS 15 that was just released. These results do not reflect the speed and performance of future iOS 15 betas or the final release of iOS 15. 15. And as I always say, your results can certainly vary in comparison to the results of tests like this. And since we're testing a beta firmware today, that's especially the case for this video, as by nature, beta firmwares are unpredictable and buggy, so results can definitely vary. Also, in addition to doing some app launching tests with stock applications, we're also going to be doing some app launching tests with App Store applications. And that being the case, none of the App Store apps we're testing have officially had any dedicated iOS 15 updates yet. So that's yet another variable that could definitely change over time. So once again, these results are just for the first beta of iOS 15 and using a few of the current versions of popular apps available as of recording this video. And we're going to be using the base model phones from each generation as including the Pro, Plus, and SE models would be a little bit too chaotic for this video. And just to let you guys know, the very same iPhones are being used for both of these tests. I first did this test on iOS 14.6 and then all these iPhones were updated to iOS 15 15 beta 1 and I performed the exact same test again. As you can see iOS 15 beta 1 is on the bottom and iOS 14.6 is on the top. And all devices are running at peak performance capability in regards to battery health. And alright let's kick things off with the boot up test. So with all the devices in both instances connected to a power strip we're going to turn the power strip on at the same time here turning all the iPhones on at the same time. And as I always say a boot up test is not representative of how your device is going to perform in all areas so keep that in mind. Mind. And I'm not going to cut anything out of this portion of the video. I want you guys to see the uncut boot up time. And as you can see here, the results are not too different. On the iPhone 12, they basically booted up at the same time. And for the other devices, they were a little bit quicker on iOS 14.6, but an extremely minor difference on all devices except for the iPhone 6S and iPhone 7, where there was a little bit of a noticeable delay on iOS 15 beta 1 in comparison to iOS 14.6. Next, let's get into some app launching tests. So we're going to start off with some of the lighter stock applications. And as you can see here for these lighter stock apps, there is basically no perceivable difference between iOS 14.6 and 15 beta 1. And this is across the board for basically all of the stock applications that I included in this test. If there was ever a difference, it was just literally a split second. So this is definitely good to see, of course. It doesn't come as too much of a surprise considering these are, again, super light first party applications. And next we're going to move on to some App Store applications. And again, we're going to start off with some lighter applications for this as well. And once again, basically the same result for the App Store applications as well. As you're seeing, there's not really too much of a perceivable difference at all between iOS 14.6 and iOS 15 beta 1. So it's always good to see this type of result, especially on the first beta of a major new operating system. And we're also going to include some games in this test as well. Here's Subway Surfers. And once again, as you can see here, uh, very comparable load times across the board between iOS 14.6 and 15 beta 1. As you're seeing there, if there's ever a difference, it's just literally a split second or so. And we'll head on over to Temple Run next, a fairly light game. And for some reason, the iPhone 11 on 14.6 was unable to launch Minecraft for the first time. It just had a white screen. This has never happened to me before, probably just a random one-off glitch. So I wouldn't read anything into that. But anyways, as we get into some of the heavy stuff like Asphalt 9 here. Again, there's still just a very little difference between these two firmwares, but with Asphalt 9, iOS 14 does have maybe a couple seconds of a lead on pretty much all these devices here. In this specific case, again, that could have just been completely random based on how similar they've been throughout the you know rest of this test. And moving on to PUBG, they basically perform more or less the same in regards to opening up this application. So looking pretty good for app launching times, just you know head to head one at a time. So not a whole lot to report there, but you know, as I said in my last battery test video, when you're talking about the first beta of a new iOS version, no news is definitely good news in regards to speed and performance. And let's move on to a consecutive app launching test. So we're going to show each device on both iOS versions, launching a set of applications consecutively one after the next, and we're going to show them side by side to show any speed difference between the iOS versions. So let's start off with some stock applications. And with no applications running in the 
background on all these devices for both iOS versions. Let's go ahead and get started. So as you're seeing here, both iOS versions are performing quite well, both getting into and out of these applications pretty quickly on pretty much all devices. It basically felt very smooth, you know, navigating all these applications on all devices, except for occasionally on the iPhone 6S and iPhone 7 on iOS 15 beta one. I did notice a little bit of stutter occasionally, but again, it really is not that big of a deal. And it was only in some instances where I noticed that. And you know, as you're seeing in this test, they're able to keep up pretty well in comparison to iOS 14.6. And in terms of overall results, you never notice it yourself unless you're comparing them head to head. But as you're seeing, 14.6 is just a little bit ahead of iOS 15 beta one on all devices here. And next we're gonna move on to a set of app store applications. And again, we're gonna do the same thing here. Just launch each application consecutively one after the next on all devices on both versions. And kicking the test off here, as you're seeing, all devices are doing quite well. They're all, you know, keeping up with, you know, opening and closing these applications. Again, I'd say it felt pretty smooth just navigating all of these apps. Didn't feel a whole lot of lag or stutter. If I noticed any of that, once again, as to be expected, it was definitely on the iPhone 6S and iPhone 7 being the oldest devices. But again, it wasn't too bad at all. And in terms of the overall results here, again, I wouldn't really say there's anything conclusive. They're basically performing more or less the same, I would say. So not a whole lot to uh, report on here. So once again, always glad to see this type of result in videos like this. So finishing off with the last few applications here, of course, the older devices here definitely are the last ones to finish the test, especially with these heavier applications. And next, real quick, I just want to load a few web pages in Safari. Of course, iOS 15 has a brand new Safari design. And of course, as always with web page loading tests, you should keep in mind that it largely depends on the internet connection that you have. So always take tests like this lightly. But as you're seeing here, there's no problems whatsoever. They're both loading web pages super quick. And we'll just load a few more here. And again, same result. Very little difference between the two iOS versions on all devices. But all right, so next up, let's go ahead and move on to some benchmark tests. So let's start off with Geekbench. So we're gonna head on over to the Geekbench application on all of these devices, both iOS versions. And we're just gonna run a CPU benchmark and see how the numbers are. And as you're seeing here, iOS 15 beta one scored very similarly to iOS 14.6 with Geekbench. So no complaints there. Next up, we're gonna move on to Antutu. So we're gonna run an Antutu benchmark on all devices. And as you can see, in terms of the Antutu results, very negligible difference between these versions yet again. So there you guys have it. As you can see in this test, there is pretty much a very minor difference between these two iOS versions in what we tested today. Of course, speed and performance all depend on the tasks you're doing on your device. And once again, iOS 15 beta one being a beta version of iOS, things are definitely prone to be unreliable and buggy. So your mileage can certainly vary. So if you guys are using either of these iOS versions, let me know down below in the comments section how the speed and performance has been for you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.